Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a smoky eye using the Nudes by Maybelline. And this is something you can get as a drugstore. It's like $12. Um, it is kind of expensive. Some of you might think for eyeshadows. But you get so many and they are beautiful. They're so pigmented. I would just kind of jump around anyways. Um, I did a dark lip because that's my favorite and it just looks really good on me. And I think some of you may notice that I got my hair colored. I love it. Thanks to the beautiful Casey Williams. She is so talented at Penny's Hair Design. Um, if you need your hair done, go check her out. Um, thanks Casey. So today is actually my fiance and I's anniversary so today's video is also going to be about testing out some brushes that I recently got um along with the elf um makeup mist and set spray um, so far I'm really liking it um and I got an 11 piece um brush set from elf and I chose my favorites out of them and I put them in one um case with a bunch of my other favorite brushes that aren't elf so, um, and this is pretty much a first impression review of them, and so far I loved every single one I used. Like, it did so well that when I put it on, there was nothing left on the brush. It was all on my face. It was great. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm just going to start out spraying my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. Um, I really loved the way this felt on my skin. It felt so good and like it was just pulling, gonna pull everything together. And you just let it dry real quick. It feels so good on your face. Really refreshing. I just like to pat mine in a little bit just to make sure it gets in there. Next, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to prime my eyelids. This is an, a very important step because if you miss this step, your eyeshadow and your eyeliner will crease and this will, and you will have put it all on for nothing. And MAC also has a technology in their concealer that also will prime your eyelids. So it is very important that you don't forget that step. I'm going to be taking my favorite um, precision brush, and normally this is a precision foundation brush, but I use it for concealer a lot because it works really well. Um, it's not like a tiny concealer brush, and it just gets the job done really well. The brush that I was using was by Real Techniques, and it came in a set of three that I got at Walgreens for $18. It came with a powder brush and an eyeshadow brush. The powder brush I use for foundation, it works amazingly. Next, I'm going to be taking my eyeshadow brush by Real Techniques, which also came in a pack of three, and the Nudes by Maybelline, also from the drugstore. Um, they're beautiful, as you can see here. I am taking that one right here, second from my finger at the top, um, and I'm just going to rub that in my crease on my eyelids as a base. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little strange right here, but... Um, you just want to blend back and forth through your crease and just keep blending. And then when you get ready, you're just going to do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to speed this part up here for you because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just blend it into the crease. Um, it's not a big deal. If you get a little bit higher, a little bit lower than you think you need to, don't worry about it. You can fix it later. Just blend it out. Once I fi finally figured out which color to use, I it definitely just packed it in my crease. I'm putting this again in my crease. This time not as far, not as high up as I did with the base color that I used. But this one is just in my crease. And I didn't really bring it all the way to the inside. But I just kind of brought it about three quarters of the way in. It kind of looks like I brought it in very far. But it was just about three quarters of the way in. And I'm starting on my other eye now. And then when I'm done with this, I'm just going to blend it all out. And here you can see I'm using the same brush that I used to apply my base color with. I didn't add any more color. I didn't do anything. I just took it straight back up and started blending some more. That way you don't have any harsh lines because those will not look good, I promise. And then just do the same thing to the other eye. Just make sure you blend out after each um, application of another color of eyeshadow. Um, this is a very important step. Next, I'm going to just be applying this nice kind of shimmery brown just all over my lid with the Contour C brush um, and just pack it on there so that the in 
inner corner of your eye is nice and shiny um, but not like glitter shiny you just want kind of a matte shine to it and that's why I chose that color because it's not too sparkly so it do it matches with the matte very well next I'm going to be choosing this just a little bit lighter color just for the um, to go over top of it just for the inner corner of my eye just to add just a little bit more shine to the inside of, uh, of my eye to highlight that area. Now I'm just going to go back through and blend out where I put my eyeshadow on my lid and my crease. And I'm going to blend it all together so that there are no harsh lines. And so nothing is uneven. This is a very, very important step. You want it all to flow together. And now I'm just going to take my Mega Last Eyeliner by Wet n Wild and I'm just going to simply thinly line my upper lid and this is just so that when I put on my false lashes um, you won't be able to see the glue. It'll be camouflaged and just to make them look a little bit thicker and this is nothing special. It doesn't have to be exactly precise but I am kind of OCD and so I, I kind of have to have it precise but you do not. Now make sure it's obviously not super jagged but I just lined it all the way from the outer corner of my eye to the inner tear duct of my eye and you do not make a wing here don't do anything fancy like that I just simply lined the top lid and that was it and I just kind of filled in the outer corner real quick without a wing and you just want to make sure that it is not really jagged like I said you just need a straight line and that's it okay now it's time to curl our lashes and I'm just going to just pulsate it just a little bit um, until they are winged up and you can see them and it makes you look more awake. So this part is very important. Next, I'm going to apply false lashes. These are lashes I've used before and this is um, glue that I've used before. It's from Swan Perfect and it's just a, it goes on white but it dries clear. It blends in so you can't see it and you just apply it, blow it a little bit, wait about 30 seconds and then apply them with a um, with a set of tweezers. Now I went ahead and fast forwarded because it's very hard to um, film it while I'm putting on my eyelashes. So we're going to move on to foundation and that is a MAC Pro Longwear foundation. That is something that is just really good for my skin tone. I have it in NW15. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, powder brush. It is technically a powder brush, but it just works so much better for foundation for me. So you just make sure you blend it into your neck because there's nothing worse than a harsh neckline. Please do not forget this step or people will point it out to you, I promise. So just make sure that you blend it all into your skin and when you are done, um, with the bottom half just go up to your forehead and make sure you don't do what I did at first and forget to blend it into your nose so that's what I'm doing here and just make sure you get it blended into your hairline so there's no harsh lines And by the way, these Real Technique brushes are so soft. I've had several people ask me where I got them. I got them from Walgreens, but you can also get them at Kohl's. Next, I'm going to be applying concealer. This is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. And you just want to bring it down along your nose and then up in a triangular motion towards the outer part of your eyebrow and just pat, dab it in there and you want to dab from the outer corner to the inner corner. You don't want to do the other way around. This way it fills in any creases that we all have. And I skipped my other eye because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to make sure you also get your cupid's bow and any blemishes you have like mine right there that are, I'm just trying to get the redness out of those. And next I'm going to be taking my, doing my eyebrows and I'm going to take my eye, um, my little spoolie here and I'm just going to be brushing them out to the desired shape that I want them before I apply my favorite Anastasia dip brow. 
in the shade Auburn. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. angled pencil brush and it is phenomenal for this and I really kind of skipped over my eyebrows. I can do a tutorial on eyelashes and eyebrows on the same if you want but I just kind of fill them in. I line the tail first and get those lines right and then I just fill in the rest. I love that brush by the way in case you couldn't tell. Then I'm going to take some highlight and I'm going to highlight my brow bone just so that it will make you look more awake and just complete your eyebrows and your eyeshadow so then I'm going to take this smudge brush which in just a minute I switch brushes to the elf concealer brush which I think works out better for doing this and you just want to put that color right underneath um, your eyelashes right along your lower lash line just blend it out and you can see here I'm using that concealer brush and it will just looks amazing like that then I'm going to take my Anastasia Pro pencil and I'm going to put that on my waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit more open and awake um, I did not want to put black liner on the bottom just because I just think it looks better with the nude for this look um, it's a pretty much a dark nude smoky eye and I love it now you're gonna take this color right here and you're going to just pat it down with your concealer brush and then I'm moving on very quickly to mascara and that is the Mac fast lash and that's just for my bottom lashes until I get the desired look that I want which I did here and then I am going to be taking my elf contour brush which I'll show you in just a second and I'm going to be highlighting my cheekbones which by the sorry about the lighting in this um but which by the way this contour brush is very rounded and I just love it for contouring um it really gets exactly where you need it to and it just places the highlight all on your skin there's nothing left on the brush when you put it on it's just beautiful and it makes you look very dewy and then I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm actually going to use it to contour my face with some bronzer now you just want to align it from your hairline around your ear to your towards your excuse me the outer the outside of your lips and to then just blend it into your skin and normally right after I do both my cheeks I do my forehead but I forgot that part here in a minute so I'm gonna have to go back after my blush <laughs> but I am using the elf blush br blush brush to do this because it has a very sharp angles angles excuse me wow I can't talk it has a very sharp angle so that I can contour very well then I'm going to take my eco tools um, blush brush and I'm going to apply some blush to that to the cheekbone and I'm going to blend it all out together so that there's no harsh lines because again I cannot say it enough you do not want harsh lines on your face ever I don't care what look you're doing unless you're doing something from the 80s you don't want harsh lines so please don't do that now again I have to go back with some bronzer and I'm going to just place it around my forehead and don't worry I'm going to blend that out so that it makes you look more um, tan without being super harsh and orange and you just want to blend it out and you're putting it here because that's where light hits your face and then you want to put it on your jawline to just even everything out so you don't look super tan up top and then washed out on the bottom of your face and make sure you blend that into your neck otherwise you're just going to have an orange line next I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to put it on my lips yes I'm putting this on my lips because it primes your lips and it really does help your lipstick last twice as long I promise it's the only thing that really works for me and next I'm going to be using the lip stain by covergirl and I don't remember exactly what shade this is but I'm going to be lining my lips and just filling them in just a little bit um, so that they you know as my lipstick fades throughout the day it has some you know I still have some color on underneath and in order to do your cupid's bow I just kind of crisscross with one I mean you'll just have to watch it's kind of hard to explain but that is the best way that I found to get my cupid's bow nice and sharp and just perfect the way I want it um, 
So just line your lips and then I'm going to take a lip liner and that is in 